What is going on YouTubers? Abdur Sound here from AndroidTechBlockspot.com. Today I will be showing you on how to root your Galaxy S3. This is for US version so it will be for AT&T, T-Mobile and Sprint. This method only works on your MacBook Pro or MacBook and first of all you're gonna have to download the file that's in the description. Once you download it, double click it and you will see all these files. Go ahead and install handmill first and install the, all the USB drivers if you don't have it and we will be going to the procedure. First of all, you, if, you are, if you are AT&T, please power off your phone and we are going to be in download mode for Sprint and it is the same I think and for T-Mobile it is different so please go ahead and go to my blog to check out how to get into download mode for your phone once your phone is off press power volume down and home button at the same time and you will be right here and press volume up to continue connect your USB cable to your phone and let's go ahead and go to hand mill Once that connects, please go ahead and go to utilities and press detect and right here you will see device detected. Then go ahead and go to the flash and here browse and go ahead and go to your files where you have downloaded. And search for the pip file right here and open that up second press add and third here select recovery unlike galaxy s2 you don't have to flash kernel in order to get clockwork more recovery so here you have three step browse add and recovery and make sure your screen exactly looks like this please do not select this or that once you add a recovery gonna have to press flash right here just browse it first and select recovery and open that once you open that just press start right here right there just press the start and you will see the process going on in the windows below and your phone will be in download mode right that time Once the process is done, close. go ahead and close the handmill and your phone will be rebooting. Once your phone reboots, go ahead and press volume up, power and home button same time. All those three buttons, volume up, home button and power.
then you will be into your clockwork more recovery here Make sure you have first put uh, the clock uh, super user into your phone's internal or external and depending on where you have it we are going to go ahead and flash from internal I have it right here so volume is the select button and go ahead and select again you will see the install from SD card complete now go ahead and press reboot system Now you will see Super SU right here. Go ahead and open. And your S SU binary might be needed to update, but you can see you have root now. Just grant the super user permission, and you see you are rooted. So this is how you root your phone Galaxy S3 onto your MacBooks. To get in Clockwork My Recovery, you might have to let go the power button once your screen goes off. Depending on what version you have. For AT&T, I didn't have to let it go, but you might have to let it go. So this is after 7. I just showed you how to root your Galaxy S3 on your MacBook. Please stay tuned to get another ROMs and root videos. And head over to Tech Fanatic 9 for your Galaxy Nexus and T99 root videos and ROM reviews. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.